Well, good afternoon. Welcome to Floyd, Virginia and the Floyd Country Store. My name is Dylan Locke, and we're glad you're here with us today. And we're so honored to be partnering with the Kennedy Center and Arts Across America. Our program today is called Music of Our Mountains, an exploration of banjo and fiddle music. Early on in these Blue Ridge Mountains here in Southwest Virginia, it was banjo and fiddle that would come together to play music for the community. Way before radio, this music was not entertainment. It was celebration. Musicians would play dance music for their community to unwind after a long day working in the fields. At the Floyd Country Store, any Friday and Saturday night, you'll find this celebration is still very much alive. A place where the community comes together to celebrate life, family, music, friendship. And we're happy to be able to bring this virtual performance to you today. But we do invite you to come visit us as soon as you're able to. Uh, today, we're gonna hear from two great Southwest Virginia bands uh, that represent fiddle and banjo music as, as good as you'll find it anywhere. Uh, first, we're going to hear from the Earl White String Band, featuring Earl White on the fiddle, Victor Furtado on banjo, and they'll be joined by Adrian Davis on guitar and Stephanie Wolf on bass. Fiddlin' Earl White has been a prominent figure in the old-time music and dance community for more than 40 years. He's one of the few African Americans playing and perpetuating the music that was once an important part of Black culture and Black communities across the U.S., Without further ado, please make welcome the Earl White String Band. Thank you. We are the Earl White String Band, and that was one of many tunes that I've collected over the years. I've been playing for more years than I choose to count. But anyway, that was a tune called Hickory. I learned it uh, actually back in 1988 at the Galax Fiddlers Convention. And moving right along, I want to also say thanks for inviting us to be here and share our music, uh, old-time music 
especially in this area as well as across the country is vast and is there's nothing like it we're going to play another tune here this is called old buzzard not that it reflects any resemblance of anybody on the stage here how about you victor <laughs> <laughs> maybe me maybe him yeah i'm not sure <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, let's think on that for a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, this is Old Buzzard. What do you think about that one, Adrian? One. You like that one? <laughs> Notice the way I was honkering down on that one? It's a good honker down tune. In fact, it's a really, really good square dance tune. And if you're playing for contra dancers, it had that AABB structure that contra dancers tend to like without the twinkle toe aspect of it. <laughs> All right, so move right along here. We're going to sing one for you. 
this is a tune or a song that was actually made popular by the uh, Carter family. And there's some rumors, um, A.P. Carter played a lot with a, a black musician um, named Leslie Riddle. And from what I understand, uh, the Carter family actually learned a lot of their songs from Leslie or through Leslie by frequenting the uh, black community of, uh, of Vimdar Hills, put it that way. Anyway, this is a song called Dixie Darling. Ready? Here we go. Suckers are been wine down where the southern winds are blowing, down where the days go growing. Up the world, up north to the gate finery, swinging around with a slow satie, singing a song about my Dixie darling, where I long to be. My Dixie darling, listen to the song I sing beneath the silver moon, with my bandeau riding too. My heart is ever true, I love no one but you, my Dixie darling, my Dixie queen. Dixie Darling, beautiful song. I think the first time I ever heard it, the Highwood String Band did it on their, I think it was on their um, Fire on the Mountain album. It's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song. It's a good song. All right, moving right along here. So this next tune we're going to do, um, this is the mandolin player I used to play with up around the Charlottesville area, the late Kelly Perdue. Um, I say man he played the mandolin the way i play the fiddle he was incredible with it anyway he played with a band called the mando mafia and again at the gay likes fiddlers convention if you haven't been there you gotta go there's tunes 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 but anyway he snagged me we were always trading tunes he snagged me once and said earl dude you gotta hear this tune you gotta learn this tune and he pulled me aside we stood beside the stalls when there were stalls at gay likes and he played this tune and he called it the lamb's wool rag. 
Ready? Step out of the, step into the cool there for just a moment. We're going to switch gears, change keys, uh, take a moment here. On my left here on guitar is uh, Adrian Davis. Her fine lightning fingers laying down those lusty bass runs on the guitar. On my right here is. Mr. Victor Furtado, those flashy fingers and just picking away on that banjo. <laughs> and standing off to my rear right is Miss Stephanie Wolf, and she's just flailing on that bass, just giving a good thump. Are we there? Yes. We're there, all right. <laughs> okay, so this is another tune. This is another tune. This tune is called Shucking the Brush. Another tune. Actually, I learned this one at the uh, Mount Airy Fiddlers Convention, which hails in this area. And I learned this tune uh, again, 1988. That was a good year for learning a lot of tunes. This is a tune I learned from Rena Rubin, although she would tell you that she learned it from me. But so it goes. I have it on a blank space on a tape, so I have proof. All right, this is shucking the brush. <laughs>
Chucking the brush. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a real, real pleasure sharing our music with Floyd Country Store. And I want to thank the Kennedy Center. And I personally feel like what you guys are doing is, is just incredible. It's a way of uh, bringing people or bringing the music to the community as well as bringing the community out to indulge in the music. So what do you have to say about that, Adrian? You said it beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. All right, so what's our timeline there? One quick one. One quick one. All right, All so right. this is a somewhat of a regional tune. This tune is called Cumberland Gap. Ready? White String Band. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. The Earl White String Band. So good. Hope you enjoyed that out there. Uh, well, we're going to take just a minute and get set up for Eddie Bond. And uh, while we're doing that, I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about the Fourth Century Store in Fort Virginia. It's a one stoplight town in the Fort Virginia Plateau region of South West Virginia. Uh, as I said before, really known for its history of old time music and bluegrass, uh, arts, great food, farming. Uh, and the Floyd Country Store uh, is, is right in the middle of it. And, um, you know, it's it's really a, a part of uh, the Perth of Road, the Senior Heritage Music Trail. 300 miles of winding road, just as you know. And uh, we're, we're really, really excited about all that's happening around us. Uh, we're also home to the, to the Henry Peace School, and uh, we do a lot of teaching and um, you know, teaching dance and singing and vocals. And uh, the music of our mountains project, the title of this um, program today, is actually going to turn into a much larger project. We're going to explore uh, Southwest Virginia's country. We're going to use this as an interactive map and do this with a uh, 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 Really, uh, a great opportunity to learn more about 
uh, Georgetown, Franklin County, uh, Carroll, and Patrick County. We're really also involved in those places. And a lot of things are going to be around here. Uh, look for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. When we get that, I hope that you all will come and, uh, and, uh, you know, join us on Friday night. It's just a beautiful for uh, people playing music up and down the street. That's what's been going on at the state. Uh, Friday night is going to be up and down the street. It's 1984. It's 35 years of the celebration. Uh, 35 years of the Friday night celebration. So, I want to start up and be found. Uh, he is one of the finest uh, musicians from around the area from Greece. He's from another small town in the history of the city. Greece is six miles.
was called Breaking Up Christmas, and I hope you enjoyed that. Also, I hope you enjoyed the Earl White men. They were great, wasn't they? Oh, yeah. I always enjoyed to hear my good friend Earl White saw one on the fiddle. And uh, we might bring Earl back up here in a little while to do one with us. Earl was saying that uh, this time of the year is two big festivals in this part of the country, and we're going to miss them this year. Cliff Top up in West Virginia, and then the old Galax Convention right here, not too far from the Floyd Country Store. So we're going to miss that, but hopefully maybe we'll keep our fingers crossed for next year, and we can all get back together and have some more tunes. We're going to do you an old train song here called Reuben's Train. You don't play a train song every now and then. Can you? <laughs> well, I'll do you nothing here. This is a, a good standard from around these parts, uh, kind of down and around the Round Peak area, also. And Mr. Tommy Jarrell and Fred Cockrum both used to play this tune quite a bit. We'll try to sing a little bit of one called Let Me Fall. <laughs> Thank you. 
turn it over here to my wife Bonnie she's from over in Freeze Virginia doing a fine job on the old bass fiddle and we're going to get her to sing you an old Carter family number here called Storms on the Ocean I'm going to have to pull that bass this way just a little bit okay. alright everybody ready Step it up here a little bit. We'll do you another good one that we like to play around the old fiddler's convention. 
we always have a big time jamming and with all our friends you know that's the best thing about old time music is all the friends you make and a lot of times you only see those friends maybe at the Galax Fiddlers Convention or at Clifftop or Mount Airy or, you know, and it's always just like a family reunion. It's kind of like it is here at the Floyd Country Store on Friday nights, you know. It's all just one big family and folks gathers in and it kind of feels strange playing here to a mostly empty room. But uh, I'm awful glad to get to play a tune with these fine musicians up here today. And uh, I hope uh, y'all are enjoying it out there. We're going to try one called Old Time John Henry. try you one here called chilly winds and this is uh, one that everybody's wishing for right now <laughs> as i wipe sweat <laughs> uh yeah it's been a little bit a little bit warm down south here the last few days but uh, usually we have dances on the floor that we can blame it on <laughs> that's it's right yeah you usually can get the the heat off the dancers and warms you right up but uh, i do miss the dancers that's a big thing around here and you know earl white used to be a great dancer i don't know if he still does any of that anymore these days or not but he used to dance with the green green grass cloggers i believe back a few years back so i used to do a little dancing myself but then i started playing the fiddle and i got a fiddle bump now so it <laughs> makes it hard to dance <laughs> you know how that is right earl <laughs> anyway we're going to try one called chilly wind Thank you. 
very much. Hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna, okay. We're gonna play one here that my granny used to love. Uh, she always loved to dance to this one and she loved to sing it and play it on the old guitar and everything. So this will do in memory of Granny Widener, a little bit of Sally Gooden. And after this, we're going to call Earl White back up here if y'all want to get ready out there. We're going to pretend like we're at the Galax Fiddlers Convention for one, <laughs> one last team. <laughs> up here and Adrian and everybody else that wants to come on y'all come on up uh did you tell about his big banjo award he got there oh no I didn't we should tell him you should tell him about that all right well, all right I'm gonna go to step into the limelight here and <laughs> to give you a little line about Mr. Victor Furtada here he a uh, phenomenal banjo player and he just recently won the Steve Martin that's right banjo <laughs> award uh Big check, bigger than my house. <laughs> you, you can play all time fiddle for 25 years and not make that much money. That's right. <laughs> and, and I have been playing for 25 years and never made that much money. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, congratulations. And also, uh, we've got both of these banjo players here have won first place at Galax a, a couple of times. So uh, we're real proud of all the young folks that play. We're right. going to finish up with one here, and, and I just want to thank Earl for coming up and playing a tune. It's always an honor to play a tune yep. with you, Earl. It's been a little while. Yes, it has. Too long. We'll have to see if we can do something about that once well, all this mess is over. <laughs> and I like that story you told about uh, what where the dancing went after you started playing the fiddle. That's right. <laughs> it's true, too. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to me. All right. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens, do Well, all we're right. going to wind this thing up here with an old tune called uh, Come Down from Albert Heiss. Called Hangman's Reel. <laughs>
yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming and joining us at the Floyd Country Store. Wanna, since you missed it in the middle, I want to say one more time, this is the great Eddie Bond on the fiddle. 2018 NEA National Heritage Fellowship Award winner, and no one deserving it better yeah. or more. Bonnie Bond back on the bass. Earl White, Adrian Davis, Jared Boyd, Victor Furtada, Ash Watkins, Andrew Small, and Stephanie Wolf on bass. Thanks to Gene Parker and Barbara Parker for being here. Joe Bass on sound. Thank you all for everything. And thanks for the Kennedy Center for inviting us to be a part of Arts Across America. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was fun. <laughs>